hmm, this thing is so, like, controversial. I want to see if guys really do, like, cum. Wait, so you, you did it again? I did it again. Swear to God. Swear to God. Oh, what? Swear to God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pillow Time. <laughs> Same, but welcome to the show, babies. All right, big shout out to Scentbird. Love Scentbird, and I love this. this. I've been rocking this. Been getting my baby girl in the mood lately. I love it. So Scentbird, thank you so much for supporting our channel. Uh, they're really reimagining how everything, everything about how people discover, shop for purchase, uh, and even experience fragrances. I, I love it. This month they sent me Prada, Bentley, Chloe. I love how it works. You open it, you twist it, just like that. Boom! Every month you get new design. I smell delicious. I smell delicious. Look how perfect. It's beautiful. It's perfect. It smells amazing. New designer brands every month. Use my coupon code PillowTalk55 for 55% off at Scentbird. It's amazing. Your first month, it's just a little over $7 for your first month. It's available in the USA and Canada. PillowTalk55. You get 55% off. Just a little over 7 bucks. And then every month, you get to try new ones for 30 days. It's amazing. This is what we love. We, we, we only support brands that support us. We love them. So thank you, Semperd, uh, for the sponsorship. And check out the links below to get more details. Semperd.com, Pillow Talk 55. Well, I'm going to throw on a little, little Bentley right now, too. Twist. I'm beautiful. I smell amazing. Baby girl. Get over here, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite podcast. This is Pillow Talk. I'm your host, Ryan Bauno. We're co-hosted today by my bestie, our favorite co-host, my father's personal favorite co-host, Tom Bauno. You've seen him on Too Hot to Handle. You've seen his dick on Google. He's top five highest earning males in the world on OnlyFans. Ladies love him. Dudes love him. Old ladies love him. His name is Nathan Webb. And today, back on the show, our most viral guest, not just our most viral guest, the most viral guest in podcast history. We broke almost a billion views across platforms with clips. This is the girl that you've seen. You sent it to your friends. Barstool posted it. No Jumper, World Star, Joe Rogan. Everyone's talking about Carmen Karma on Pillow Talk. This is it. She's here for round two. Carmen Karma is here. I'm now known as the Cream Pie Girl. The Cream Pie cream Girl's pie back. Girl. <laughs> Cream pie girl's back. Okay, is the story real or fake? That's what everyone wants okay, to know. Okay, I'm getting real mad at that because the Joe Rogan thing, and then the guy was like, the Andrew, whatever, who's like, yeah. it's Cap, it's Cap. That's not even like my craziest story. I didn't even <laughs> think that story was bad. Like, if I was going to lie about it, I'd like, you know, tweak some things. But I thought that was like a mellow story compared to like that whole podcast. Yeah. I think guys just got real upset because they realized that could have happened to them. I think that's what it is too. That's what it was. Their own insecurities came out and said, that's that's bullshit because they don't want it to happen to them. They're like, yeah, they, I was getting death threats. Yeah. Like it was real serious. I mean, you, you sent the old, you sent our good friend, Harry Jowsey, shout out Harry Jowsey to therapy. Honestly. <laughs> I honestly, he's, I he's, he's, he's traumatized. He's I traumatized. said, we're doing Karma Karma again. Do you want to come on? He goes, I can't. He said, I'm getting into acting now. I can't be around that anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You I scare would kind of ruin his reputation. And you know, it's funny. Sure. Producer Terry, he always makes eight clips of every episode and we always launch with the best three. Yeah. To me, that was like the fifth or sixth best one. It, that's what I thought It wasn't too. even a watch clip. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't I'm even, like, uh, I, I have no idea why that one like went crazy. But when people were saying I was lying, I'm like, listen, there was crazier stuff. Now, I talked about like the, people the, paying me to poop in their mouth. That, yes. The yes. funnel and he comes when you shit yes, in the fuck. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, y'all are <laughs> See, mad. That's at, crazy. Like some dude eating like the cream pie out of me. That's like. I feel like that's. Like, that's normal. Yeah. yeah normal. We've all done it. And like the people getting mad, I'm like, y'all never like. Had your dick sucked after you fucked another girl, but like exactly. I feel like that's Ex normal. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So what's been new then, Karma Karma? Since then, you got your titties done. I did. I got some new titties. Very nice. They look very squishy. They are. They're super squishy. <laughs> yes, lovely. It's not like you didn't grab them before the podcast. Explain what we actually did. Okay. Okay. So he. I did, used your. He hand. used my hand. Put his hand over and then squeezed it. Because I have a girlfriend and I'm. Was I oh, oh, yes. oh! Oh! Yes. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Thank you. Did, for this moment. No. Would you like to? Uh... Yeah, you can grab him. Yeah. I'm not Look. doing it. By the way, this is not my hand. This mm. is this is Ryan's. Ryan. Very nice. Very real. Very yeah. Nice. Right. Yeah. Very real. Hey, are yeah, you still real. milking? By the way, Carmen. I'm not milking anymore. I can't feed oh. you this time. I'm so sorry. So she used to milk. She did. She milked us. It's yes. great. Milk is great for, for your skin. <laughs> yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. Wasn't it good? Okay, it was delicious. delicious. I loved it. She milked two, two percent. Oh yeah, she milked. I'm lactose intolerant. I had to go to the bathroom after. But it was yes. lovely. You didn't take your pills? No, I didn't take my dairy digestive. So oh, what's going on? Any other crazy shit happened in your life since then, Carmen? Oh my. You blew God. up. You're going millions and millions of followers. You're one of the highest earners in the world on OnlyFans. Oh, really? 
Yeah. What's been it, going on? It went crazy. Yeah, that clip, like, Blue. shot things up, and then... We didn't get any royalties, but it's okay. Yeah, but, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you got some views, right? We got, views? We got hella views. <laughs> yeah. Blew the, the show. It was a mutually beneficial uh, arrangement. For sure. No, my OnlyFans, everyone, all the guys, like, hated me in the comments, but I'm like, then why is my OnlyFans popping off right now? Like, y'all secretly like That's this. That's what they do. You like this, and now I'm having all these, like... You black. fucking cream pie whore. Fuck you. <laughs> That's what no, they all want to sex yeah. with me right now, talking about like they want to eat, like come out of me. That's they like still it. going back to that. Clip. They like it, wow. and since then, like now, I'm like, oh, like this is such a taboo thing. I actually did it. I made my husband cream pie me while I went with my sneaky link because I'm like, hmm, this thing is so like controversial. I want to see if guys really do like come. Wait, so you you did it again? I did it again. Swear to God. Swear to God. Oh Swear to God. I did it because my first of all, my husband was pissed because everybody thinks it was my husband that ate it. Okay. Because he said my, my boyfriend. Yeah, you, yeah. You should have said my boyfriend at the time. My boyfriend at the time. Right. So then I think my husband kind of wanted to get his revenge too. Like he wanted to, someone else to like eat, come out of me and I don't know. So, but my husband knows like I have like the sneaky links and go do all that. So he knew I was going to go see another dude. And then I think he purposely cream pied me to try to. Wait, who did? Oh, oh, your husband, husband cream pied you? husband me and then I went to my sneaky link. You're, wait, you have sneaky links and, yeah. your, and your husband knows about it? Yeah. He's okay with it? Fuck yeah. He'll be next to me and be like, should I hang out with this dude? And then he'll tell me if he thinks like I should or not. Does he have his own sneaky links? No. He doesn't. But I would told. I wish he had hoes. Wait, what? what? Yeah. what? I wish I he like had hoes. You're, you're like the the woman. Right? I you're want the ideal him woman. to. I want yeah. him to like, so oh, no. bad. No, well, not really though. Really? <laughs> 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 like, look at it. I feel like me. I'd be like, yes. I would Whatever love us go, to go just fuck like, other fu sneaky links. I mean, if she said to me, "Hey, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do." No, because Nathan Webb, she's fucking other dudes. He's only fucking her. But no, no, I know can. what I'm saying. But he, but she but doesn't he mind. But he's, he has no he game, won't. obviously. Well, no, he. This guy's a, a fucking joke. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's kind of like your husband is a fucking loser. <laughs> No. If you actually look up Carmen Karma Husband, there's a huge like a YouTube video. It's just like super simp. And it's can like, we, can we do this right so now? He is a super simp. Look up on, uh, YouTube, Carmen Karma Husband, and it's like a huge video. So he goes through your phone with you? He, he's, what? he's a very handsome chap, right? Yeah, he's handsome. He's yeah. handsome. But you know, he knows. I was like showing the celebrities. I'm like, ooh, should I fuck this rapper? He's like, yes. And he tells me, yeah. Or he'll be like, no, why would you do that? Carmen, so, like, okay, Carmen Karma, who, which celebrities have you had sex with as of late? Mm, you know, oh. Drop some names. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So, do you remember the whole blue face, like how he got arrested for like the shooting here? I, if I would have went with him that night, that would have never happened. What, that shooting would have never happened. Night? I was supposed to fuck him that night, and then like I was like, I don't know that Krishan bitch. Like she started like worrying me around that time, so I was like, you know, I didn't. I blew him off, and then I find out that the shooting happened that, that night. night. So I'm like, yo, if he would have been in my pussy that the night, I could have. Yes, I could have saved this crime. I could have kept Blueface out of prison. Oh fuck. Have you fucked Blueface since? Yeah. Oh, you have? Yeah. How was it? <laughs> it's good. It's good. Okay. It's good. Who, who else we got? What other celebrities? Um, Drop some names. Tyga, you fucked Tyga. Tyga? Yeah, Tyga stays in those DMs. Have but, you had okay, so okay. I had this uh, other viral moment since. Have you seen the money bag one? Yes. Where I offered money bag 100,000. Money bag still, I'm like, he needs to break up with his girl to get that 100K. But since then, now all these other rappers are like, I'll take the 100K. And like these like no name rappers or like and you're like other other rappers I'm like listen you could get like 20k mm -hmm. or something but I'm not giving 100k to anyone besides money. Who's the clingiest celebrity in your DMs all over Karma Karma? It was Blueface before Obsessed, all this right? stuff, but now once he like got out of jail, like once he actually got arrested, okay, yeah, now not so much anymore. Oh, well, he's on house arrest. Yeah, probably. What, what can you do? Probably, yeah. Okay. Okay, what kind of freaky shit you been doing though? Let's go. What do we got? Because um, people are oh, asking you. Yeah. Right now, it yes. fucking hurts to walk because I fucked Dread yesterday. Did oh you fucked Dread? You fucking. And sick. I okay, so I don't know. Don't if tell I'm, me in your booty. No, I didn't. In the vagina. No, in my pussy. Okay. And I don't know if I should be like proud or ashamed of this, but they were like, oh my god, no one's ever been able to take him all like that, like the camera Why guys. You show me wide vagina. Yeah. <laughs> You have a wide vagina. I was like, I'd like to thank my two kids for this moment <laughs> right now. <laughs> but no. a 12 pound baby. <laughs> but no, dread. that shit is huge. Like I How thought- How big is dreads? Okay. Like, and it has to be this maybe, thick because- Maybe this, maybe we start with this. It's pretty much like that. Like when I was trying to like do it, oh. like my mouth would not fit over it. And I was, I didn't know what to do. I could just kind of like, uh, and then just use my hands and stuff. And, and how long would you say? That shit's like, it is like, this is like dread. That's crazy, eh? That's insane. I had it's, like like, it's like producer Terry. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like 
like an elephant. <laughs> but he's hot, though. Yeah, well, only when he's hot. <laughs> when, he's hot. <laughs> when he's not hot. It's and, and, and he put this whole thing up your vagina. Yeah, I don't know. I was wow. so I was so scared going into it, and then my pussy liked that. <laughs> swallowed it up. It swallowed it up for sure. And and okay, so I was dating a girl who had sex with dread. And really? Yes. Hmm. You were dating her? Yeah. She is so fine. Uh, I don't know how. I'm very happy that she DM'd me last night. She, oh, is this okay? Yeah, she did. And no, no. So I thought it was no. I was no. I'm not. I'm not replying to this. Ryan? Yeah, do it. Reply. Do That's kind of fucking weird though. Because <gasps> we saw her and, and you know we. We dated. She says yeah. we dated more than I say. It, you know. So we lived at the same building. She's she hot lived, as fuck. She lived a couple of floors below me. Oh. And then I think I think I I don't. Nate is my boy. He's my I best. He's my roommate. Yeah, I said. And you're Ryan. okay with that? Well, yeah. yeah, but it's just weird that she DM'd him. Yeah, it's probably. We see her person. together. Hey, Kaylee, nice to see. You. Oh, mm-hmm. I said her name now. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Hey, Kaylee, nice to see you. Yeah. You know. Oh, hi, Nathan. Hi, Carly. Whatever. Very, very nice and uh, she's mature. A, she's a sweet girl. Very mature. Yeah. I'm trying to fuck her. Go I've ahead. been in her DMs. Just text her from Nathan's phone because that's where she's at. <laughs> so. but, but I say to Ryan all the time, it's like, you can weaponize me. No one else can weaponize me. Because I feel like she was trying to use me as a, you know, I was the new code to get to I Ryan. I can see that. I you know can what I mean? So that. we're walking to our taxi, you know, leaving, and he's like, wow, Kaylee Gunner's DMing me right now. That's weird. That is weird. Like, relax. But, <laughs> but very sweet. Like, girl. I don't care, but yeah. like, w- sweet girl, sweet girl. Honestly, I would do that too, though. That's some shit but I would like, do. But like, shadooing. I would I would totally do that though. Like if I've ever been like mad at like a friend or something, I go like DM her boyfriend for sure. Fair, fair game. I feel like I lose all my best friends because I fuck their men. Do you actually? Yes, that's a problem. While you're I friends have- with them, or, or yeah, I have a, I have a problem. Yeah, that's an issue. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Literally every best friend I've ever had, I always end up fucking her dude. I don't know why, and then I lose all my best friends. Actually, the tattoo I have on this side is with a girl. She won't talk to me anymore because I fucked her man. While they're together. Yes. Why do you do that? I don't know. I love, I like the toxic. I'm like, oh yeah, I want to do it behind your back. It's so hot to me. And how do you get caught? Because <laughs> usually text messages, the dude will tell. Do you do do you, do you lie and say? No, I used to this. lie in the past. At this point, like if I got caught doing it, I'd just be like. Oh, so you're, you're a terrible person. I am a terrible person. Oh I my God. Lie. Yeah, you're awful. I, I'm really, really, I'm a terrible yeah, you, friend. Oh, you're I the really worst. I really feel like I'm the worst wife ever, but my husband like loves me and says I'm like the best wife in the world. But he'll text me like before Dredd, I have all these. He's like, I'm so proud of you for what you do and what you can accomplish. You're going to kill I, it I tomorrow. Like guy's a I, fun, he's, no, I like the guy. People, I think he's a he's fucking great. loser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's yeah, do you have a picture? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wait, I remember oh, him being good looking. Oh. He's like, you can Google Carmen Karma husband, I'm sure. Absolutely. But no, he, he loves. He's probably the hottest simp ever. Is what he, he is. is so proud. He's so proud of me all the time for everything I do. He brings me like gifts whenever I do something. My first gangbang, he was so proud of me. Oh yeah, I got gangbanged. My first professional on camera gangbang since I saw you last. Oh wow, how'd it go? Oh my god, I was. It went really good. I got he's a five. Big dude. Let's yeah, see. he's big dude. Big dude. Let me see what pops up. Oh, oh my god, my family photos. Yeah. Oh, oh is shit. he black? I take back everything I said. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a he's a handsome dude. I didn't know he was a black simp. Yeah. No, that's I don't think there is such thing as a black simp. Everyone says that they're like, I've never seen a black dude that like yeah. lets their chick fuck up. Yeah, yeah no. black people usually keep their girls in line. Yeah, exactly. He's a, he's White a, people are simps. We're yes. pussies. No, he's black. Speaking of black simps, producer Terry <laughs> hasn't had sex in two and a half years, and I'm not calling him a simp, but he is black. And <laughs> Uh, I heard you got a big dick. He does Huge. have a big dick. He so does have a big there dick. Was, there was a moment, we spoke off camera, there was a moment last night, all three of us bonded. Yes. Yeah, Very yeah, well. Yeah. We all stood around in a circle and we showed each other. Let's see, let's, let, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. It was yeah. just three Terry dudes in a room? Terry was the first one that said yes and he shot up. And I've seen Terry's sex tape. His his hard dick is tw- is the size it's of dread. this mic. He, his dick is as big as, as him. Yeah. His dick's as big as Terry. Yeah. But his soft dick, let, let's just say that man is a grower, okay? He puts the G in grower. And I was trying to be nice about it. And I looked at him and was like, yeah, we were all about the same size. And he looked at me like. <laughs> but I've seen the hard dick and it's like, Terry. It's not really? adding so up. I'm not hating. Yeah. I am not hating. Yeah. I'm just impressed by the growing. It, it goes from that to <laughs> that. You, you must know, fucking, like, Terry must pass out with all the blood that rushes. <laughs> From his head to his dick. <laughs> I want to see it. Can you show her? Oh, yeah, fair, fair, fair. okay, okay. 
Would you would you have sex with producer Terry? If you let me film it. <laughs> fair. That's fair. Mm. Like would you? I'm always, uh, you know, I'm a content creator. You are a content creator. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, uh, wh which male stars have you been working with lately, and which female stars have you been working with? Um, obviously Dread. I don't know. I've like, I feel so you like did an off camera with Dread. No, I didn't do off camera. It was mainstream. Dread. Yeah. For who? Well, no, it wasn't mainstream. It was just like OnlyFans stuff. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I would consider that still on camera. Does he do mainstream? No way. Yeah, he does like Jules Jordan and stuff like that. Okay. I've been fucking, I've been like, like, fall, not, I don't want to say falling in love. I like it, go with a guy and I'm like, ooh, I really, really like him. And then I like start fucking him a lot. And then like one thing he does that like I hate, then I move on to the next guy. Okay. But like I've been having like li these little like boyfriend things in between. Fl uh, porn flings. Yeah. Yeah. Usually that's not like my style, but like lately I've been so fucking horny. I don't know what it is. I went home, I, a male stripper at the, um, what the fuck is it called here? They're all Australian. He used to do that. Thunder from Down Under. Thunder from Down Under. <laughs> I went that's home with one of the guys knows. from Thunder Down Under. Worst, oh my God, worst fucking I didn't even have sex with him. I couldn't. Why, why, why? Okay, so first of all, he comes out on the stage and he's like sexy, he's ripped. He's like, we're making eye contact the whole time. He looked like Nathan what? He's only picking me up, only me, like over and over again and like literally grabbed my phone, went backstage, put his number in and so we were gonna like meet is up that, and is fuck. Is that a classic line? Yeah, you can get him fired, but. Yeah. Really, really? We, we, maybe well, if we hate him, we'll get him fired. him, I hate, you know. We're so then fired. I wait up for this man and I'm sober, so I don't even drink, do nothing, right? So I wait up for this dick. I get to his fucking house and he talks about, you want like to make food? He want to make me food? I'm like- Young uh, Gravy, welcome to the show. Well, I thought you were going to do a lot of great stories. Young <laughs> Gravy. Yeah. Wow. Have you guys had sex? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Stop yeah. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Young yeah. Gravy, welcome to, come, to the show. You want to come to stop popping and say hi. You know, I, I love that. I appreciate show. that. Yeah. You know, a lot of girls have been saying, because I posted Young Gravy in my story, I say, can I fuck him? Can I fuck him? Can I fuck him? Because Zumi hit me up about it yesterday. I put them in a group chat and Young Gravy blew her off. That, did you see the ass? <laughs> you did. Uh, I saw a video of her talking about a lot of a lot of penises at once. Or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. You wouldn't like me either then. Shit. No, I, mean, I, I got respect for it. I just, I don't know. I was just, you know. Not your type. I mean, I like Asian people for sure. Asian people. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep them around for the next episode. I love, yeah. I love Asian episode. women. Oh yeah, we have CJ Miles coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have right. you fucked her? She's four foot fucking <laughs> She's hot. nothing. She's been there. <laughs> yeah, she's a spinner. She's a spinner. Yeah. That's what you do. You gotta finish your story. I'm yeah, sorry. go ahead. Sorry. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I go to this man's house. Oh my god, I was pissed. Love you, nice young to gravy. Meet you. I'll see you tonight. Yo. See you I'll Spencer. be twerking ass. Damon Dice. We love Damon Dice. I'll my favorite way is to our dick to pretend it's mine. <laughs> Stop. Oh yeah, I totally fucked Damon on, yeah. a, on a table. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> um, Good guy. He's a great guy. Yeah, a great guy. I remember he was like sweating, just pounding the shit out of me. Okay. But back to the stripper. So I get to his house and he's literally like talking about his girlfriend, trying to cook for me and like was not getting to the point. And finally- You it was, for one reason. It, yeah, it was one so- reason. And it was like in the middle of the night. I'm sober. I don't even drink. Then I find out like, I looked on his wall and it was like, no more cocaine. Like he had like a sign to himself. And I was like, uh-oh, like, uh-oh. And then, so I told him, I was like, I think I'm just going to leave. And he's like, no, no, no. So he pulls me to his room and then he takes down his pants and I have never, okay, it was legit smaller than a baby. I can't even understand. It's smaller than baby care. It was like not even- Soft or hard? I think hard. <laughs> it was like this little tiny, it was like a chapstick, but it was like, it looked like it was like a mushroom. It was like, cur <laughs> I've never seen anything. It wasn't even like a dick, like straight. It was like this curved, weird, like he might have something wrong with him. I, I couldn't fucking believe it. So, so he, then pull, he, he pulls it down and he's- But I wasn't going to say anything. So I'm like trying to suck did it. Did he know that you're a porn star? I didn't know. He knew that, but he did know who I was. So you, okay. you've, just, you've just ruined the fantasy of many girls around the world right now. That all the chip and dales, all the thunder mm. down on the guys are he not had, packing. He had no dick. Uh, I've no seen dick. a lot of penises. It's like they overcompensate with yeah. all their hot dancing shit. I was Hiss, cause he has like, so then he like gets on top of me after like, I'm like sucking whatever the fuck that, and I'm literally like, just like, it's so, teeth. Yeah. so small. Flossing Flossing your teeth. Teeth. And you then <laughs> he lays down, we go to like fuck, and he just like, like collapses on the bed next to me. And he's like, can we just cuddle for 10 minutes? Oh. I was like, uh, what the fuck? And I was like, no, he's like, I've just done a lot of coke. I was like, get me the fuck out of here. You called me to your house in the middle of the fucking night to come over to your soft, tiny little micro dick. Yeah. 
And then literally as did, I'm wait, like- Did he put it in your vagina or no? No, no, oh. he had to cuddle me first. And then I literally was like, I'm leaving. And as I'm walking out, he like sticks his head out the door. He's like, do you believe in second chances? I was like, <laughs> fuck no. He did not say that. Yeah, he did. Out you the window? And then I made a story, like a TikTok about this. And mm. he found it and sends me a screenshot of the TikTok story. Wait, wait, like, what was the TikTok say? It was just like kind of saying, I was like, I went home with a stripper last night. Oh my God, he had a micro penis. Like, what oh, the fuck was that? And, and he, he saw said, it. He saw it, screenshot it. He was like a little harsh. And then asked me if I would hang out again. And I was like, no. Oh, he still went through with that. Yeah, the- I'm like, do you not know what's going on down there? Can I, can, hey, can I just hold it down for male strippers? You got to get yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> just, <laughs> hold it. Hold it down for male strippers. <laughs> Those are your people. She's hating on this your is my, This is my union. Yeah. Okay, okay. Not all of us. Uh, <laughs> a couple of us, uh, you know, well attuned. Maybe. Your dick is great. It's not bad. My oh, penis is not bad. Big Ryan's fan of his seen cock. it a few times. Ryan is very quick to tell everyone to Google my penis. It is I there. can Google your you penis. Can Google Nathan Redmond. Penis. I don't know where the nude is from, and I don't know how the fuck to get rid of it, but my mm. penis is on Google. Yeah. I'm going to have to look this up. Shout out, mom and dad. My, good, <laughs> my, my penis is on Google. So fuck yeah. Yep. Holding down for the male strippers. I've seen a lot of dicks. You're absolutely right. A lot of male strippers' penises are a little bit small. I couldn't believe it. He was picking it's me like, up. It's and an overcompensation. Yes, because they are some sexy motherfuckers. Don't get me wrong. Like, yeah. they're some sexy guys. So, no, all, not, you know, I don't. So, it's almost so like, like you can't have me. You can't have me. No, it's like, it's like it, it is like the thing that you don't have at all because they do. Like, I've seen some dudes, some rip fucking dudes, big guys, producer Terry, hard. Right. Soft, hard. You know what I'm saying? Producer See, producer like, Terry, <laughs> he didn't yeah. find the need in life. To get so jacked to strip. Because he doesn't need to. Yeah. Like, ah. He's got a fucking hog. He's got a, fu- he's got a <laughs> yeah. kickstand when he leans over. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's got a third leg. He goes, oh, I want to yeah. lay like this for today. But there's a reason these guys get jacked and they and they strip and whatever. It's because... Right. Oh, you want to know something funny as fuck? I do. When I posted this TikTok story, Kazumi DMs me and was like, is it? And then said his name. And Kazumi had the same thing happen. She took home the... Or she went home with the same exact strip. That's crazy. <laughs> and she knew exactly you know who what? it was. I'll bet you it's the same one Nicole Anderson was talking Pro- to me about. Did you say a small dick? Yes. Yes, it's probably Nicole him. Anderson said this guy's good looking, had he's, sick game. He yes. was like, dude, it's the same. I was so he's in love with, with porn- him. I, he must be. I don't know. He said he knew who I was, but I I loved him until. He must, he must assume that porn stars have seen so many dicks that they don't care about a micro dick. Okay. I'm saying it, it was it was actually like something. For a micro dick guy to be it. obsessed with porn stars. What's also they? I, I guess they think that they're like. It's their normal. Yeah, their, their fate. They're a handsome guy. He's probably in shape, right? Yeah, in shape. She's like, oh, she'll love. Can you pull up his Instagram? I should find it. Yeah. I, maybe I know. Go him. get your phone. To be honest, maybe I know him. Yeah, know, you might. Know you might. From down under. So Nathan, Nathan was a Thunder Down Under guy for ten years. Well, I was. I stripped for four, four years. Wait, at Thunder Down Under? No, no, no. So okay, that, so we used to. They would come to our but show. But the way you all know each other, they all know each other. Oh, it's yeah. like a, a, right, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. know. Like, speaking of which, like producer which. Terry knows Rudy. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is him. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, you. He's black too. Oh, of course, I, of course. Oh my God. Uh, no, I don't know. Wow. He was so hot. He was spitting so that's much. A good game. looking dude. He walked yeah. into the bar afterwards and made wow. out in front of like all the other girls. Dude, who that's were like, crazy. You, you have a type, have... huh? You have a type? Yeah, kind of. He looks just like you. You don't like. Yeah, he does kind of look like my husband. Like husband. You don't like this, eh? <laughs> I would totally fuck you though. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, I would. If you know you didn't have a girlfriend. He's a, he's a good looking dude. Yeah, he's big. that's very nice. Nathan Webb. Totally. Producer Terry. Fuck yeah, I know what's over there. Ru- Steven. <laughs> Rudy. <laughs> Rudy. Giving that big dick. I mean, honestly, if you guys said, let's run a train and you let me film it, we'd do it right now. Oh, God. <laughs> How long do the cameras roll? <laughs> <laughs> honestly. <laughs> just two more minutes. All right, all right. We can just go for two more minutes. Yeah, I couldn't believe this. He was just that like- That is crazy. He's a very handsome guy. I had to you're, buy you're, my own Uber. Your husband's a better looking dude, but he's a handsome- so? yeah, 100%. How much oh. do they make those guys, by the way? Not much. They get like 500, 600 a show. Oh, that's a lot. No. How much are you making now? Let's talk numbers. Uh, I mean, I'm starting to make over 200,000 a month now. And you're still running your own account? Yes, and it's very fucking hard. Are you doing all, you're not doing all the chatting. Yeah, I make the sexting stuff. I have to go on there. I send it out. I do the stuff on the feed. I do the PPVs, like my whole life. But I don't shoot every day. Like I'm at home making content. Like You do like Monday, eight hour day of shooting? <sighs> so this is my life. Yeah. I wake up, I get my kids ready like a normal mom and housewife. Drop them off, goodbye. And then I fuck shit up and get slutty all day long. And then by dinner time, I'm back to mom. Mm-hmm. That's Probably. crazy. Yeah. And then when they go to sleep, I'm back to hoeing again. But you're making 200K a month. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You're rich. 
I know. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, so listen to this. This is a grand debate that I have with OnlyFans girls every day. I tell them, you, you're doing porn on OnlyFans. You want to blow up. Go shoot mainstream. Trust me. Mm -mm. No, no, no. If it's free on the internet, they won't come pay my shit. What do you think about that? I'm going to say you're wrong. Oh. I'm going to say you're wrong. It's a because, billboard. Listen. It's a trailer to the movie. Kind of, kind of, kind Avatar of. had great trailers. We all went and watched the movie. But it's not like that. Like, I can get way more. I make way more money from going on podcasts. Okay. Like you, to get the audience out like that when I'm doing the porn stuff, I feel like those are all the guys wanted on the free sites. So they are right about that. But I did mainstream porn for seven years before I ever did like podcast or anything like that. And when I had like my OnlyFans, right when I like stopped doing like porn and stuff, like it wasn't popping like that. Really? Like, I, I was making like 30,000 a month and I thought I was like, you know, I thought I thought it was money then. But they start talking that shit. Then once I start like saying, making my TikToks, going on podcasts, fucking blowing up and I had all that porn there before and I had like you know steady fans from doing porn but honestly just me telling my nasty stories on the internet has made you've inspired many that's why girls <laughs> ask us to come on the show every day they're using us for money yeah you want this viral <laughs> <laughs> let's hey let's let's do a viral moment right now Let's, you haven't told us really anything fucking banana sandwich because we've been talking about your life since, mm, which which really you're just rich and and yeah. rich and famous and a mom. Yeah. And, you haven't said beautiful. beautiful. And beautiful. beautiful. And Ryan. squishy fakies. Squishy mm. fakies. But let's go back, back to the day. Back to the day. Bring back some good old fucked up crack whore Carmen Karma stories. No offense oh. to the crack whores out there. God Does that damn. offend you when I call you an ex-crack whore? No, because I was. You know, sometimes I was... <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't offend me. It's very hard to offend me. Okay. Go ahead, crack whore. Let me try to think of, like, a good a, a good thing that happened back in the day. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'd have to be inspired by by thinking of... Something, actually, I know something that's happened in Vegas a couple AVNs ago. It's not like super hoey, but it's kind of like- With you? Something happened. Yeah, it happened with me. Okay. okay. So- it, We are is, at AVN, by the way. I forgot to mention this oh, yeah. is an AVN podcast. Yes. We're at AVN. And this is the, the morning I decided I was never drinking ever the fuck again. Oh. So the morning I woke up, there was a dude in my bed, right? And he wanted to have anal sex, mm. but we didn't have- In loop. the morning. In the morning. And we were hungover as Who does anal fuck. in the morning, right? Weird. Me? <laughs> oh, yeah. So we didn't have <laughs> lube. Right? So he went and took his dick on a plate of baking grease and lubed up his dick with baking grease, right? <laughs> to get it all lubed up with what? all that fucking shit. And then so he's fucking my ass. And I don't know Wait, what you that- you let him fuck your ass with, with baking, baking grease? grease. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was it the tub of bacon up or it was legit bacon he grease? He was just rubbing the... his dick all over the plate. The he pan? wanted to get in the in booty. The it, no, it was like on a plate. We were in a hotel. Yeah. It was like yeah. the breakfast. So he's rubbing his dick Rock all over the star. plate. Yeah. Getting Rock the baking star. grease on his dick put in my ass and then he's fucking my ass right. I don't know what the fuck that bacon grease did in my stomach, but then I just fucking exploded. What, you pooped everywhere? <laughs> all over him, all over him. And like the story you were talking about, we had to crinkle up all of the fucking sheets and just whip him down well, the he, hallway. He, he helped you clean the poop? I shit literally like riding him on top of him, all over him. All over him. <laughs> all over him. And we had to take all the sheets and everything and just throw him down the hall. And, and he then, helped you, he helped you? Yeah, but he was just like sitting there like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, you put baking grease on your dick before you put it in my but ass. Like, the baking grease made you it poop? fucked my stomach up. I don't know. He was going ham in there. <laughs> it just like oiled maybe, everything. Maybe we try this now. <laughs> yeah, should we test it? Baking up. Oh my god. Oh, that's my favorite. That's my new favorite story ever. <laughs> Terry, clip it. <laughs> clip it. I was puked. That's fucking funny, bro. Holy. Yeah, I had a guy on OnlyFans recently, like, so I, like, sex these dudes, right? So I have, like, my regulars that, like, I talk to a lot of times. This dude, I feel really bad. Like, this is kind of, like, a sad story. This dude's wife was dying. Like, she actually died, and he was in the room sexting me still. Like, wait, he would wait, sex what? me, and he was, like, the, his wife was in the hospital dying, and he would be, like, updating me on his wife and, like, how she's dying and all that. And when she actually died, we were sexting What do you say? What do you say when she when she died? I forget her name, but whatever, finally passed, and then we did our sexting. 
And you, you you took the money and kept going? Yes, of course. Oh, fuck. God. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. It was really oh, bad. You are a horrible person. I Yeah, I really don't have standards or boundaries. Or empathy or... I don't. Love or I, I don't. Care. The old, I, I, I don't know what... I love dick. There's some love. There's some love in there. I don't know what it is. I'm just like... <laughs> I almost feel like I'm going to turn into Harry Galsy after this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been sipping. You know, those last two stories. It's Make done. It up. We got what we wanted, right? <laughs> we got what we came for. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Karma Karma. How we at on time, by the way? Minutes. We're at 30? 32. 32. I say we do a few more stories. Mm-hmm. Those um, last two. Holy fuck, Carmen. Let me think of what, what's, what's what else up? I've been doing. Hey, 200 million views called. They want more stories. <laughs> And I gotta think back into like that one was my that was my, I think I liked the second one more than the first. The dime, really? The one yeah, my wife you died, like and then you the, sexed. Did you no, take the yeah. money? Of course. <laughs> See, I, I thought, of course I did. What kind of yeah. question I said, that? You have no love, and she said, so, "I love dick." Going, going back to like, <laughs> hilarious. hilarious. There, there's always gonna be someone that takes the money, right? So, like when I stripped or whatever, it was like, <laughs> if you don't want to do it, exactly. someone's gonna take the fucking money. <laughs> so if Carmen don't take the money someone's going to take the fucking money, so it might as well be you. That's what, you know what I mean? think all the time. I think that all the time. Like, Nathan Webb is a master cheat, manipulator. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> so, come like, on, so someone, someone's going to do it. Because I agree you. with you. If it's not you, it's going to be fucking someone else. A hundred fucking percent. And yeah. also, like, when people would get mad, like, if they're, if someone cheats and, like, I'm with the dude that I know he has a chick and he's going to cheat on her, I'm sorry, he's going to cheat with another girl if yes. I say no, so I'm going to take that dick. Okay, but what about, what about fucking your friends, husbands and boyfriends? Yeah, I know. I have a problem with that. <laughs> That's definitely an issue. My husband tells me all the time, he's like, you have to, like, you have to. Wait, your husband knows that you're doing that too? He knows I have an issue with this because he sees me lose all my friends. (laughs) (laughs) He'd be like, don't, you're so toxic. I'm like, I just love it. It's, 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 if all my friends stopped having boyfriends with big dicks, it would stop. (laughs) But like, they have dudes with huge dicks. What am I supposed to do? (laughs) I can't turn it down. So tell us about a recent one. No. <laughs> what if Who did you lose your friend? She doesn't want to lose the one friend she has right yeah. now. Is, is there anyone Fuck. that's still undercover you haven't, that you haven't gotten caught with? No, not yet. Not yet. So how does it work? So you meet them out or whatever. Do you end up DMing? Do you DM them first? Or? So usually it's like a vibe, like in person. Like I know, like I used to have a roommate and then like whenever her boyfriend would come there, then he'd like try to like come in my room as he's leaving and like come do it with me. Like before he's like sneaking out. You would out. fuck your roommate's boyfriend? And then like when he would get there, he would text me before she knew he was getting there. And like we would have like a little thing going on the side and we'd talk. But I, I think I just like the Wait, wait, wait. Your, your, your old roommate. I know who it is. Uh, who, who was it again? Stella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's Stella. Stella. I wasn't roommates with her. Who was it? I don't know if anyone knows who she is. Okay. I don't even remember her poor name. Her real name was Camilla. Camilla. And and her boyfriend would come over, but every time he'd come or leave, you guys would fuck on yeah, the side? Yeah, well, okay. While she's in the next room? She was like one of those like quiet? Xanaxed out like chicks, so it was real easy. Like, she'd always, she'd always be no like, that's her. not on like, She's Xanax. out. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> She's always passed out, so it's easy to get the dick. And we like walked in, and like her room's here, my room's here. He'd like come out of there and come in my room, and I'd be like, oh my god. But I loved it. I was like, oh my god, I don't want to get caught. <laughs> there is a thrill. There's a thrill. Yeah. That's such a thrill. Yeah, I like it. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna be terrified now. You're never gonna bring Bree to the house. Yeah, because you, you know I gotta start walking down in towels. <laughs> Same with like my ex, like my last ex I have. Like we were roommates with another guy, and whenever my ex would go to work, I'd fuck his roommate, Jesus. and he he never found out. Wait, your ex? Is this the first time he might hear this? Yeah, but fuck you. Yeah, we had a. That's the thing. ex that ate the cream pie. No, it's a different ex. Oh. I did them all dirty. <laughs> But we found happiness. We're married now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found the one guy who will let me do whatever the fuck I want. And he's cool with it. How big is your husband's penis? Probably like eight inches. Oh, it's crazy? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's nice and thick and it's good. It's good dick. Do you give him start to finish blowjobs? Uh, yeah, yeah. Not as much anymore, I'll be honest. Like, yeah. Because I'm like going fucking the world instead. But, you know, he gets, he told me tonight, like, after I'm done being a hoe tonight, he's like, I'm going to tear that shit up tonight. So you still are sexually attracted to your husband or not? Yeah, really? yeah. You are? Yeah. How, how often are you guys doing, having sex a month? I like to have it every fucking day. 
Okay. But then he's like, oh, I'm tired. So he says know, he's tired. No one can keep up with my sex drive. No one. So would no you, one. I have to. I have to be getting other dick. No one can stand it. Like, do you actually want to fuck every day? Yes, at least once a day. At least. Yes. Do you still finger fuck yourself? I do the Hitachi every night. I'm just. So you 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 need real dick and then Hitachi every day. Yeah. Wow. No, I. So just, you were born to be a porn star. That's what I'm saying. Like as young as I. As can remember back, I've always just been horny as fuck. Because, look, here, here's my theory, okay? There's two types of porn stars. Totally agree with them. Maybe three, but two. There's the ones that are obsessed with sex and said, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. Let me be me. I love it. That's like this percent of the girls. Or they want to be famous. Or they they really need money. That was the third. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. But nope. I feel like the, the famous one is becoming the more popular one. No, a lot of these girls, I'm like getting really disappointed in girls lately because they don't want to fuck. They really aren't like freaky. They're really not there. They're there for the money. They're there for the camera. And like none of these girls actually like like dick. I, and now I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, yeah. Now that I'm interviewing everyone and getting to know everyone, I'm seeing what category they fall in. You can tell. I can, so I'm like so over like- so And like, you are definitely, I want to fuck. Ho, ho for sure. Nala, fuck. She loves- Kazumi, yeah. fuck. Kazumi's for sure. Actually, me and- Chechik, fuck. Emma. Yeah, Emma. Mia Malkova, fuck. Yeah, me and Kazumi you know, had like a huge Emma. seven guy. Emma Magnolia? Fox. She fucks. I don't know. You will think? Emma might be the famous one a bit. Great butt. Yeah. Great, great, great no disrespect to it. Fantastic. Why are we all doing what we do to get rich and famous? No disrespect to any category. Yeah, it's like- But you are one of the fuckers. You want to fuck. Yeah, I want to fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, most of the time I'm like filming with like a new guy. Like I, I love fucking guy for the first time. Like that's like my shit. Like when it's the first time and it's like so exciting and new. Every time I end up doing this, it's bad for business though, but I get so into it. I'm like, fuck the camera. Like put that fucking phone down. I just want him like, fuck me off camera. And then after I come, I'm like, fuck, I should have filmed that. But yeah, I just, I-, I So Carmen, yeah. tell me this, okay? Because I, I know a lot of you girls now. And I feel like your fan base is the most uh, loyal. They the, are. the most, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, you know how the weekends fan base are like, like Drake yeah. has a huge fan base. Yeah. But the weekends people are like, XO, XO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Karma Karma and porn. No, I got some crazy Why? guys. Why? Why? I, I honestly think it's because a lot of these girls are just very boring and have no personality, to be honest. People love that your fans are obsessed with you. They are. I, I was just walking through the AVN hall here. I can't get through anywhere without people grabbing me. She has me. the biggest, like, you and I'd say Chechik too. But it's because me and, and Chechik che che and me both got in at the same time. We've been doing this shit for a decade. So, like, we yeah. have guys who have, like, kind of watched us kind of grow up. up. Yeah, yeah, for, like, the last decade. Like, we're not new but to the game. it's bigger than that. Yeah. It's but we're both like nasty. We're open about that's it. That's what it is. Unapologetically disgusting. That's like, what it is, eh? Yeah. I think it's because we like shit. You don't they give can a fuck. It's real. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. it's real. It's real. It's real. Rep 40. Man, this was a good fucking. CJ Miles. Come hi. say hi. Come say hi. We're going to tell them that you're on the next episode. No, no, no. Come on the camera. Right here. Right here. She's going to come on the next episode. There you go. <laughs> oh, you look good, girl. Yes. Do you guys know each other? Uh, we've done S for us on Telegram. We did? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we yes, did? we have. Yes. Can the camera see her or no? So this is our little four foot seven spinner, CJ Miles. And she's going to be on next week's episode. Yes. We're about to film it. <laughs> but do you know my husband's watched me fuck guys in front of him? <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe like, we don't bring him tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, my husband, he like came with me on set once and he was just literally like on the sidelines next to the camera. And like whenever we, it was, it was too <laughs> We gotta late. get him on the show, man. He's no, he, he needs to be on the I next one. I like the guy. I love the guy. He was next. He's just Is so Is he going to watch this, by the way? Probably. He's calling Hi, him a Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, can I, I've, been, I've been an advocate for this gentleman for the entire fucking yeah, you have. No, I've been very mean. He doesn't, very, no, he doesn't give a fuck what people say about him on the internet. That's all. why I was scared when, when I said he's a loser, he's a loser, then I found out he's black. He's 6'3", 250. I'm just scared of yes. him. Okay. He's a big ass dude. 6'3", black guy. He's like 240, 250. Because you know, you want to know how I make a lot of money betting on sports? Yeah. I bet on UFC and I bet on the black guy. Oh, um, TCU, TCU, yeah. shout out TCU. Yeah, but, but no. yeah, so he was behind. Like, I and was this getting... isn't racist. That's anti-racist, right, Terry? Okay. A black guy says it's okay. It's not racist. <laughs> it's not racist to say I'm scared of black people in fights. <laughs> in fights. In fights. 
I think I would He's be scared. He's like, you're I, kind of teetering yeah. the line now. I would be scared of any dude 6'4", 250, 260. That's what you should say. Yes. Fair. Right, Fair. Because right. you're 6'4", 200. You're tall. 6'3", 190. Fair. Yes. I'm right. 60 pounds on you. Yeah. Yeah. F- five and a quarter. <laughs> Very honest. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> so he's watching me get fucked by two guys, like literally just like bloop, bloop, like from the front, from the back, going crazy. And like we cut, like on, this was like professional porn. We cut and li- he brought me over a little paper towel to like wipe the spit off my face. He's like, you're doing so good, babe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is okay. he a legend? <laughs> Is he a legend or a he's, simp? He's dope. I don't know if I could fucking do that. <laughs> no, no, he, baby, keep Keep going, baby. He like dabbed <laughs> the spit off of me. Terry, is he a legend or a simp? I say legend. <laughs> boys, I boys, is legend. he a legend or a simp? Legend. Legend. Ooh. Thank you. I say legend. He's a legend. Yeah. Wow. yeah, I tell him everything too. Like, he's like my bro. Like, I come home, I'll be like, oh my God, like about dread. I'm like, look at this fucking angle. Look how huge. I can't believe my pussy open. I'm like, showing him everything. What like, the fuck? yeah, I tell him everything if the dick was good, if the dick was whack. Like, I, he knows everything. Did like, you tell him the micro story, of course? Oh, I came up while well, I was texting him on the way, and he's like, what are you doing going to a guy's house? Like, that's so dangerous. So, like, he knew I was going oh, there to get dick. Wait, did, does he allow you to bring guys to your place? No, we don't. I don't do that because my kids. You know, like it's he wants me to keep it separate when I come home, mom and wifey mode. But when I leave the house, I'm free to do whatever. He just cares about safety. Has he cucked before in the cage? No, and no, no. no. <laughs> Raped He's my wife. not like that. Oh, he's like a big buff dude. If you ever saw him, you would never think he would even allow me to do this shit. I think like when he met me, he he's was, gonna knock me out of Sapphire tonight. No, no, he's, he's, he's not coming. coming. No, he's not oh, coming. Okay. He wants to, and I said, no, it's this hot girl shit. Me and you <laughs> can maybe hang out. Maybe, like, yeah, there you go. There you go. Maybe we do a gym session tomorrow. There you go. That's what we do. He would fucking bond. love that. Maybe we bond. You know what, guys? You showed up, man. We we needed a round two with Karma Karma. The fans demanded it. We need a round three. Round three with my husband? You showed oh, up. He hundred percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. But you, but you, when he's here, you're going to be a little bit intimidated. You no, you can that. go. You go at go. him. And by the way, Nathan Webb, great co-host, eh? Yeah. I like so him. You really are. Very, very calm. So, so Ryan, I do a lot of the PG things because yeah. you know Ryan is Ryan. Yes, yes. Yeah, we, yeah. Kind of, we balance each other out. You're right? great. Tom Thank Pownell you. says you're the best. Tom Pownell, shout out. He really does. Yeah, yeah. Great I gotta go Google and his and dick so pic. Does producer Terry. Producer Terry loves editing my stuff. I don't know why. The, <laughs> hey, Nathan Webb is your guy, right? How about the two most important people in life? Producer Terry, Tom, love Nathan Webb, and I love you. Yeah. Yeah. Karma, Karma, you delivered again. Yes. You delivered. Tell them where your OnlyFans and your Instagram. OnlyFans.com slash Carmen Karma, Carmen with a K. Instagram, you said? At Real Carmen. At Real Carmen. With an I'm e. like, Carmen. 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 And the Carmen, K-A-R-M-E-N. Come hit me up. Slide my DMs. If you're hot, I might fuck you. Wow. And you won't see a collab post because she's so shadow banned. I am sl- so shadow banned. Yeah. And Nathan Webb, your OnlyFans. I think it's just my name. I honestly don't know. Nathan, Nathan K. Webb. Webb. Nathan K. No, no. Nathan K. Webb. Yeah. K. Webb. K. Webb or Webb. You'll find me. Instagram, you have the K in there. Yeah. Instagram, the K. OnlyFans, the hog. <laughs> Wait, you have an OnlyFans? Mm-hmm. Oh. Top five highest earning male in the world. Wow. Okay, out. okay. Yeah, he's he's really good at it. Like he's like you. So I, I run my account. Like he you. thinks outside the box. Yeah. You know. It's a business, right? Tell her about the your de, your December. Dick the holes. Dick the holes. Dick the Every holes. day at Navi Calvert and you dick pick. <laughs> Fuck yes. You know, the the and song, then he, Dick he, the Holes with Belgium. Yeah. Mine was Dick the Holes. I love that. And he just on a gingerbread house and Are he sold serious? it to one of the Yeah, he's sick. <laughs> he, Nathan's like really I mean, a mole, He's like, yo, you guys are best friends. <laughs> God, I have a great dick mold. I'm in a full ass, like a great dick mold. Oh uh, my that God. Well. Yeah. Raffled that off. No, really? Yeah, no, you dick raffled. the holes is great. Candy canes. Nathan's really, he, he, I learned you a lot. You sell your cum. My, I sell so much of my husband's cum. Oh. My husband will have to come in my panties or he'll come in me and then maybe, I push it in my panties. Maybe you put the goggles and the gloves on one time. Catch that, I'll do that. That's yeah, funny. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. fucking funny. Catch every drop. Okay, <laughs> and I'm your host, Ryan. Another 12 out of 10 episode of Carmen Karma. You showed up, baby. This is Pill Talk. We'll see you next Tuesday.